Guys, guess what? I'm running the AC in the car. That's what I want to run, not the heat. Another beautiful day today, and it is awesome. I'm loving it so much. It's going to be mid-60s, uh, clear skies. Uh, right now, I'm on my way to Best Buy. Believe it or not, to exchange my Mac and for a different Mac, because, or for the same Mac, just a different one, because this one's been having some issues with the caps button on it, as well as the power cable's been acting a little fidgety. So instead of dealing with that, I'm going to go get it replaced. If I'm spending as much money as we did on this computer, I'm gonna make sure that whatever I get is working properly. All right, so I got the new computer. Uh, exchanged the other one out. They said it shouldn't be any issue now. Another good thing about me taking it back was I mentioned just on the side that I didn't get the student discount whenever I got it the first time. And they're like, okay, we'll go ahead and take care of that. Ended up getting like an extra 50 something dollars back. So not only did I exchange it for a computer that was that didn't have the issues that it had, but I also got an extra 50 something dollars. So that's a plus. We are headed to the park. Me and me and Chu and Chris and Drew. Drew has like three hours of sleep under his belt, but he's ready to spend some time outside. It's so nice out. So nice. Oh, it's nice not to have to wear a jacket. Chupi loves it. Right, Chupi? He just wants to smell stuff. At the park, at the park, here we are, at the park, having fun in the sun, at the park, yeah, yeah. You sound like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> si! Bueno! El Boyo. El Boyo. El Boyo. La Coretta. <laughs> Going for a world record golf flag throw. Let's see how, we can, how far we can get. Up Let's see if he can do it. Not too shabby. All right, it's Drew's turn. You gotta run too. I didn't run. I took one step. <laughs> Drew, how do you stay so successful at your flag throwing? I just tell myself I'm Poseidon. Right. Danielle, Danielle, yes. what are your thoughts about this next throw? Um, I've, I've been training my whole life for this, and I feel like today's the perfect day for me to beat the world record, so okay. I'm confident. We're all looking forward to it. I gotta do my... Hold on, I gotta place my water down real quick. Okay. Whoa! A new world record! Bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it, fat boy. Up the hill. Up the hill. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Let's go. Come on. Overweight dog. We gotta shed some pounds. Yeah, it all winter to gain weight. Now we gotta now shed you some pounds. I how it feels for somebody to pull you. <laughs> Chewy, Chewy, you can't chew on this. One. <laughs> no, Chewy, no, Chewy. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> he wants to. He just wants to play. <laughs> Chewy, <laughs> Chewy, Chewy, no, no. No, we've had it this whole time, and now he's all of a sudden freaking out about it. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, you dominated. Perfect day just to sit on a bench and watch people jog by. Poor Chewie's exhausted. 
touch him. <laughs> <laughs> so some of you may remember that uh, we gave Drew some tips for his first flight ever. Now that we have Drew here with us, we want to hear from him as to how his flight went. Drew? Not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous at first. Um, you know, just because having Chris you know, scream, you know, praise Allah before walking out of the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the actual airport seat, you know, it was just kind of, it's kind of like, okay, you know, like we're actually going to be, you know, off the ground. What was your favorite part? Probably the takeoff. Takeoff felt really cool because once the actual, once the back of the plane, like, start to, like, settle down as soon as it got off, kind of got, like, this deep, like, roller coaster feeling. It was like, oh. Did you have any turbulence or anything? Yeah, there was a little bit of turbulence on the first flight, but it was... No, now it was you know cool. what turbulence is. Yeah. yeah. No, so, uh, here, buddy. It was pretty here. cool That's seeing, you know, you know, being up, you know, 10,000 feet in the air, how how big the earth is and stuff like that, and how, how beautiful, how beautiful God created it. So. Word to that. Well, Drew, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where to, ma'am? Driver, please take me to Kroger. In the forest, please. Not the one down here on Old Forest Road. That one is disgusting. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Dinner with the Cooters. Dinner with the Cooters. Dinner with the Cooters. It was so, so good. We had some chicken and some corn and some mashed potatoes. It was awesome. Good job, Jess. Danielle is going to present Cinema Sunday's movie of choice. This Cinema Sunday, we'll be watching Brave on Blu-ray. All right, so we just got done watching Disney's Pixar Brave, and uh, I thought it was a really great movie. It's a good, it's another good addition to the to uh, Disney's kind of princess um, sagas that they have, you know, from over the years, and. Um, Great graphics, you know how I am. I love high definition stuff, high quality things. So the graphics were great. Had a good storyline, and uh, overall, it's pretty funny. It's a good, it's a good movie for both uh, young and old. So I give it a good three and a half stars out of five. What do you think, sweetie? It was okay. I liked it. It had a good story, but it wasn't funny. I didn't think it was that funny. Like it's not one of those. It's not like Finding Nemo. Yeah. Where you bust out laughing like it wasn't a funny movie, it was more of a serious I can see and I'm that. not into that. If it's an animated movie it should be funny. Yeah, I can see that. It didn't have anything like the comical relief of Dory, you know, from yeah. Funny Nemo. I liked like I, I it had a tangled feel without the humor. Yeah. And I liked I love Tangled. Like that movie is so funny. It's so funny. But it's Brave is not. I'm not I don't know, I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Right. How many stars do you give it out of five? I'll give it a three. Three? Yeah. Yeah, so if you if you have kids, it would be a good movie to, for you to sit down and watch. It's very clean, appropriate for that sort of uh, setting. But, you know, as adults, it's not something you're going to really want to buy, even though we did buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be able to watch it again in the future. We enjoy having you guys watch our vlog. We enjoy you taking our opinions on videos and movies and sharing our lives with us on a daily basis. But now that we have left the Cooters, and now that we have watched Brave, we are both very tired. And I think when we get home, we're gonna be hitting the hay. So, right to bed for us. We're getting old. Plus, today was a time change. So the time change really threw us off. So we're probably gonna get to bed a little bit early tonight because we're gonna get up a little bit earlier tomorrow than normal. So. You guys have a great night, and be sure to uh, check us out tomorrow on the new vlog that you'll see posted soon. Bye-bye.